demonstrating a bow line to students here, we, there's many ways of doing it. The way we do it is we create a right overhand, a loop. Now the tail we tend to call the rabbit and the main line the tree. And we explain this by the, uh, the rabbit comes out the hole, around the tree and back down the hole. And that just simplifies the process for the students creating a bow line. A stopper would be required with that, which is a barrel knot, making one loop, second behind, replacing the rope through there. We make a right overhand, forming a loop. We get the tail of the rope, which we explain as the rabbit. The remainder of the rope is the tree. And the rabbit comes out the hole, around the tree, and back down the same hole. It just makes it easier for the students to understand and, and run through. We dress that accordingly. And there's your bowline. On top of that, we require a stopper knot, which we use a barrel knot for that, making one loop over the finger, second behind, and replacing the finger with the rope. So once students have installed the bowline and stopper knot, they will be required to uh, install a friction hitch. If they're not using the Blakes, then we will give them a prussic loop. Um, and they will tie the knot out of this. It just keeps things simple. Um, it's a tried and tested friction hitch, easy to install. This is done by finding the double fisherman's knot in the middle of the system there. Holding this apart with your fingers and we just thread that through. That forms two loops. Repeat that process again, parting that, thread through the middle of that system. Now what we've achieved there is we've got a friction hitch. That knot's not going to interfere with any of our other system now, so that's out the way. We can dress that nicely. Then we just need to install that to our climbing system. How we do that is via a carabiner and a knot called either the lark's foot or lark's head, and this just keeps things neat. So placing the thumb and finger into the loop, pushing that up over the top, pulling these two down to the side, that gives us a nice neat loop to install the carabiner, and that just keeps that loop fixed to the carabiner out the way and that just limits the risk of it coming loose and out on changeovers. Fixing the bow line in, we would then fix this to the bridge of our harness and that's our climbing system installed. 